Reaction Beanie Yo 188. Taking that neighborhood, my brothers and sisters. I am tired. Like, I'm tired, y'all. No, fuck that. I ain't tired. I'm tired. T I E D, man. Like, I just came to the house and it just hit me out of nowhere. Like, that ever happened to y'all, man? You know what I'm saying? You go to work, you're feeling good when you come home. But it's like a couple of minutes after you get in the house, it just hits you out of nowhere. You be like, damn, I'm tired than a motherfucker. That's me right now, man. That is me. Like, I really just want to go take me a good long ass nap right now. But I can't do that because I got stuff to do. And you know I got to come watch a video with my people. So long story short, short story long. I'm just gonna take my ass to bed a little earlier tonight and get me a good night's sleep. I digress. Hey, we're gonna get into the day video, man. And we're going back to a channel that we ain't been to in so long. Like, yeah, I know this, this go back to probably like October or September the last time we've been to this channel. And we finna get back to it. And the channel is True 911 Calls. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. And the title of the video is 911 Caller Dies After Dispatcher Refuses Ambulance. Now, why in the hell would the dispatcher refuse the damn ambulance? Hmm. I don't know. We finna get into it, though, my people. But before we get into it, man, y'all know what y'all got to do. Get whatever you might need. Get what you need. I believe it's going to be a great video, y'all. True 911 calls always brings out a lot of emotions in me. Even though I'm always emotional most of the time watching these videos anyway. I digress again. Y'all got what y'all need? Y'all ready to go? Then let's go. When you call 911, you presume you'll get help. But this yeah. isn't always the case, especially in today's calls. In two separate incidents, ill mothers die from a lack of response. Then, while callers hide from intruders, dispatchers make questionable decisions. And it's not all bad. A heartwarming baby delivery with the help of a fantastic operator. Mm. First up, multiple charges are laid against everyone involved after this frustrating call. Bring hey, no one's mercy. My mom, she's really bad. She's in, she hasn't been out of the bed in like three days. She. Ever since she moved in with this guy out here, all she does is drink. She's turning yellow. The last time I saw her was like a week ago. She had lost like so much weight. There's like nothing left to her. And now my brother just said that she's laying in the bed like making noises. I don't know, but we need to get her to the hospital. Is she willing to go to the hospital? She will be because I'm on my way there. So she's going. Okay. Or she's going to die. Okay. Is this a police issue or because we can't force her to go in an ambulance? No, it's not a police issue. I'll get her to go in the ambulance. I would take her in my car, but I don't think I'd be able to get her in the car because she can't even move. Okay, I will get. We'll start an ambulance up there. Um, we really need to make sure she's willing to go first. Is there any way, man? If you don't get that goddamn ambulance to the house, bro. Ooh, we. I could have been on the phone with this dispatcher. I would have cussed this rabbit ass the fuck out and then call back and maybe talk to somebody who got some damn sense. I'm a, I'm, I'm mad now. I'm already... Did, did the first one is pissing me the fuck off. Well, let's keep listening to it. Talk to your brother if he's there and ask her if she want to go. Because if she's not, like I said, they can't force her. She's gonna go. She's gotta go. Because if not, she's gonna die. How far are you away from the house? I'll be there in like 10 minutes. Okay, how about calling us back to make sure she's willing to go before we send resources out there in case she says no? Okay. 
Okay, and then as long as she's willing to go, we'll get you the ambulance out there. In July 2020, the 911 operator yeah. ignored Kelly Tichinel's call for help. She said he told her that services would not be given to her mother because it would be a waste of resources. First responders weren't notified. No help ever came, and her mother died. Wow. We were begging for help. And for somebody to be on the other end of that phone and decide that he's God for that day, that is unacceptable. That day, Robbie Kronk told his sister that their 54-year-old mom was sick. He could not call 911 because there is no cell service at their home in Nineveh. Tichinel jumped in her car and called 911. Ten minutes later, she arrived at the house but also couldn't call back because of the lack of cell service. She and her brother could not physically transport their mother to the hospital on their own. The next day, Diana Kronk died from internal bleeding. Tichinel filed a lawsuit in a federal court, which named Greene County, along with the 911 operator who did not notify first responders about the medical emergency. It says the operator had no authority to deny services. Then, a groundbreaking charge was filed. The 911 operator, Leon Lee Price, has been charged with involuntary manslaughter, reckless mm. endangerment, and official oppression and obstruction for the death of Diana Kronk. In June 2022, Price was arraigned and released on bail. Neither he nor his lawyer responded publicly to the allegations. A month later, the disgraced mayor of Waynesburg and two other 911 workers were also charged in the alleged cover-up. Mayor Gregory Leathers, Richard Polix, and Robert Jeffrey Rhodes were charged with tampering with public records. Tamper One, two, three, four. All four of them some corrupt. No, hold on, time out. Damn, I take it back, y'all. That's, that's the lady who died. Rest in peace. These three right here are some corrupt motherfuckers, man, that be in our, uh, in our government doing fucked up shit then trying to cover up for each other. I hate them type of people, man. Bro, this is fucked up, bro. All you had to do was call the damn police. Not to call the police. All you had to do was send an ambulance, bro. I was going to say, just like people make false police reports and call the police over all type of crazy shit. And they still send them out there. The police still show up. You know what I'm saying? So for him not to send, why would he deny her service, bro? Just send the ambulance. Bring <sighs> with or fabricating evidence and obstruction. All three men turned themselves into the authorities and were arraigned. Each made bond, which was set at $25,000. What do you think should happen in these trials? Should more dispatchers be held accountable? Yep. Let me know in the comments below. While I was researching this story, I came across another, equally as heartbreaking. I rang an hour ago for an ambulance. She was difficultly breathing, now she's, now she's dead. <laughs> dead. No one should have to witness what Akshay Patel did. Whew. Ambulance service for patient breathing. I can get an ambulance, please. Is the patient breathing? I am struggling. Okay, is the patient awake? Yeah. All right, just tell me exactly what's happened. Um, she's finding it difficult to breathe. All right, are you with her at the moment? Yeah. Just going to ask a few questions, but they're not delaying the help. How old is she? Uh, Mum, how old are you? 50? 56. 56. Okay. Is that her in the background speaking to you there? Yeah. Okay. All right. Does she have difficulty speaking between breaths? Yeah. Okay. Does she have any flu-like symptoms as well? Uh, do you have any flu-like symptoms? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And is she completely alert? Uh, let me ask you a question. Why the fuck you asking all these damn questions? Why, what does any of these questions gonna help you? What you trying to decide? Should you send out an ambulance or not? Just send the fucking ambulance. Why you asking all this shit? Boy, these folk pissing me the fuck off on this video today. Yeah. Okay. I'm organizing help for you now. Just stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do next, okay? We will get an ambulance out to you as soon as possible or as soon as we have an ambulance available. Okay. Um, we are very busy this morning, yeah. but we will be there with you as quick as we can, all right? Um, some of the wait times have been up to and around an hour, but we're planning to get there just as quick as we can do for you. Ah, ambulance is I, uh, um, She's breathing. She's struggling now. Okay. I'm calling an ambulance. 
Is the patient awake? Yeah. Okay, tell me exactly what Sorry, say that again. Tell me exactly what's happened. Um, she's struggling to breathe. Okay. She's not dying, she's just I think she's Okay. I'm going to help you now, stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Okay. Okay, we're very busy and we aim to be with you as soon as possible, or as okay. soon as we have an ambulance available. Currently, it's likely it could be over an hour and a half, but that's from your first call. Right. Okay. Is there anything okay. I can do in the meantime? In the meantime, yeah, just keep, re just keep reassuring her, okay? Ambulance service, is the patient breathing? Uh, kind of, yeah. I've already logged the call. Is the patient awake? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so you've already called for an ambulance, is that right? Yeah. Oh, okay. The the patient's mouth has gone all white. Sorry? The patient's mouth's gone all white, she's probably going to die. Okay. Stay on the line with me, okay. Can you tell me what's happened? Sorry, say that again. Tell me exactly what's happened. Um, she's struggling to breathe. Okay. Thank you. Just getting this all updated, okay. So, I can see that some help has been arranged. We are just extremely busy, okay? You need to, you need no, to calm coming. down. Keep, keep reassuring her, okay? Just, just, they're coming, they're on the way. They're here, they'll be here in a couple of minutes. Just concentrate on her breathing instead of shouting, okay? Yeah, like, just like, concentrate on your breathing. I told you. Deep breath. Oh, Deep breath. Just when you think she's getting worse, I will need to re-triage her, okay? Yeah. All right, just stay on the line. Deep breath. You can do this, all right. You can do it. Dana, relax. The patient breathing? No. Right, so I don't you know. know that she's right, lost tell me, a lot of breath. Tell, tell me exactly what's happening. She, we lost the call half an hour ago, so she can't breathe. Dana, uh, relax, relax. She, just relax. Is that her screaming? She can't breathe at all. Is that her screaming? What, what's the address of the emergency? Listen to what I'm asking. Is that her screaming? Yeah. All right, so tell me exactly what's happened. She's not been able to breathe for the past uh, hour. Okay. She's and been you, struggling. Are you with her right now? Yeah. How old is she? 56. All right, okay, so I put all that further information. Bro, they still asking the same fucking questions, man. Somebody already that asked how old she is and all this irrelevant ass shit, man. Like, Jesus Christ. And it's so hard listening to this shit with her in the background screaming like that, bro. It's like, this ain't this, this man fourth time calling back, calling, bro. This is man fourth time calling, bro. Y'all still ain't seen no damn ambulance. And then just hearing her every time he calls, like, her. at first she was actually talking on the first call. Then after that, she been screaming every time. And it's like every time he called back, her screams get worse, bro. This, man, that's some fucked up shit be happening in this world. Let's go. All yeah. right. Uh, I do need to hang up now that I've taken another call. Help is there any way that I can help the breathing in the meantime uh no uh we just say watch her and uh, look for any changes okay okay all right, all right. So. okay uh, if she gets if she becomes less awake and vomits quickly lay her on her side and if she gets worse in any way call us back immediately for further instructions okay, okay. All, right. all right thank you Bye. in january 2022 56 year old bina patel screamed i'm going to die while she waited an hour for an ambulance her son, 28-year-old Akshay Patel, called triple nine six times that day. Akshay shared a home with his mother in Ashton under Lynn, Lincolnshire. He said he realized she was unwell when she shouted for him at 2.15 a.m. The 28-year-old could tell Bina was having difficulty breathing. Eventually, it was too late. Ambulance service is patient breathing. No! Is the patient breathing? No! Okay, tell me exactly what happened. I rang an hour ago for an ambulance and she was difficultly breathing now she's now she's dead. <laughs> dead. My mum's dead. Thank you. For the ambulance. Appreciate it. Right, okay. Just stay on the line, okay. Recalling the events of that terrible night, Akshay said he couldn't tell his mother about the incredibly long wait times. He tried to take her to the hospital himself, but Bina couldn't stand up or get downstairs. The panicked son could only stop his mother from falling over again. He said, 
The only way I can describe it is, imagine someone holding you underwater. There's not much you can do. Following later investigations, the 28-year-old doesn't believe that his first five calls were taken seriously by call handlers. It seemed as if it was only after the sixth call that an ambulance was dispatched, arriving five minutes later. When paramedics finally arrived at 3.27 a.m., almost an hour after Akshay's initial call, they tried to revive Bina, but their attempts sadly failed. She had first suffered from a blockage in her heart, which caused a stroke and then a heart attack. A horrific series of events that her son had to watch heart-wrenchingly. Akshay told the media he would hold those responsible for his mother's death accountable, but the outcome is unknown. When you're hiding in a closet, you hope... I hope that man sued the shit out of whoever the, uh, the, the damn hospital, whoever. I hope them damn dispatchers ass get charged with something. Like, dude, bruh, oh my god. And then it's like... What do they live at? Like, seriously, man. Well, y'all so backed up to y'all. I ain't never heard of no shit like that. Well, if you call the damn ambulance, they might tell you that they can't come right now because they backed up. Backed up? Ain't this emergency services? Don't y'all supposed to be able to come whenever I fucking call, but y'all backed up for over an hour and a half? But as soon as he called and say, my mama dead, now y'all send an ambulance five minutes later. The first two stores, my people, got me. Woo! Let's go. Hope the 911 dispatcher would understand the situation, but that's not always the case. In November 2011, a Colorado Springs woman hid in a closet when two men approached the house and tried to burglarize it. Colorado Springs 911. This is Lori. What is the address of your emergency? Two men have just crossed my fence. They're trying to get in my house. Can you repeat that address for me? Is it an apartment or a house? House. Corner of the Corner. What's the phone number you're calling from? They're trying your to last break. name, please. They're trying to break the window. And your first name? They're coming to my house. Maggie. I understand. What's your first name? Maggie, you said? Males, A-E-Z. Okay. There's two males, you said? Yes. One in the red job hood, the other with the blue and white hoodie. And the one in the red jump suit, is he white, black, or Hispanic? Hello? Yes. They just broke they just the class. Okay. Um, the, the one in the red jump suit, is he white, black, or Hispanic? Black or Hispanic. In a red jumpsuit, okay. Okay. They're on their way. And the second one, was he white, black, or Hispanic? And Meg, we do have people, officers en route to your location, okay? You said they're now inside the house? We have officers on their way. I'm going to ask you a few quick questions. Just answer the best that you can for me, okay? Bitch, don't ask me no damn question. I'm, I, I hope she stay quiet, too. I'm not finna be trying to talk to you and I'm hiding in a damn closet from some damn... How, how, what kind of sense you making, lady? I just told you these folk and broke in my goddamn house and you still asking irrelevant ass questions. Where the police at? That's all I need to know. What the fuck up with this video today, man? This shit, all the even... This shit just got me heated. Let's go. Are there any weapons involved or mentioned? Okay. That's fine. And do you have any further descriptions on them, Meg? From what you could tell? And are you or yourself in immediate danger? Are you able to get yourself to safety? Uh, Can you get yourself to safety? I'm in a closet. Okay. I'm going to stay on the phone with you, okay? Um, if you want, if you don't want to talk anymore, if you don't want them to hear me, I'm going to ask you some questions and just, you know, um, maybe tap on the phone once for yes and two for no, okay? Is there anybody else in the house with you, Meg? No. Is any, okay, is anybody injured? <laughs> they run, they run. They ran? Oh, there's a cop. Is, they, they... is the policeman with you? They're running out the back pasture. They're running towards south. The cops got him. Cops got him. 
They're running to the apartment complex across the street. The cops follow them. The red two guys run away from the cops, heading towards town, um, an academy. The cops run after the guy into the apartment complex. The red two guy is still running past the apartment. Okay. Went into the apartment, uh, summon apartment. Okay, are you okay? I am. The woman was fortunate, however, as the suspects fled as soon as they discovered her. A month later, a 17-year-old in Orange County found herself in a similar position. Bro, I'm glad that goddamn, oh, uh, she survived that shit, though, because I was mad at the beginning of that damn video, because, what, it, do these dispatchers got, like, a set of questions, dumbass, irrelevant questions they have to ask, or they just be trying to talk to you to calm you down? Man, fuck all that, bro, but... I give this dispatch credit. She did send the police. Police showed up fairly quickly. And all is well on up. Let's go. Nine one one. what is your emergency? Okay, I called before. And I already, they came back. I, I, I think I'm an American guy. I don't know what you're talking about, ma'am. What address is this at? Sorry. They broke my my back. I'm sorry. I'm okay, you have to calm down, please. I don't understand what you're saying. What happened? Okay. Someone is trying to enter my house. They already did. Someone did what? They're entering my house right now. There's two. There's two guys trying to break into your house. Yes. yes. They're two really young African American guys. They're 17. Or like 17, between 17 and 24 years old. And how are they trying to get in? They broke my back landing door. Broke the back slider? Landing doors in the back, in the patio. They broke the back door open? Yeah. yeah. How old are you? Oh my God. 17. Please hurry up. Any weapons? Do you see any weapons? Are you hiding? Yes, I'm in my closet. You're where? In my closet. Bro, do this, do this. Bro, they need to uh, get this uh, damn dispatch some fucking hearing aids, bro. Every time she asks a question, then the girl give her an answer. Then she asks the same fucking question again. Like, you, t I just answered this shit two seconds ago. You can't hear? What the fuck? But one thing I want to say too real quick, y'all, is... If you ever find yourself in a situation where you know somebody trying to break in your house and you know they coming from the back or they coming from the front, wherever they coming from, if you don't want to, I'd rather for you to just run. If you can't protect yourself, first of all, I hope all y'all got something to protect yourself, first and foremost, Second Amendment. But if you don't and you got to get out that house, bro, I mean, and you know they coming in, then you should be trying to get out. So if they come through your back, though, you should be running out the front, though. They coming through the front, you run out the back. You know what I'm saying? You get out the house. Don't even be in that bitch. Just get out, run, and goddamn get away. That's how I think people should be doing that. But I understand at the same time, you caught in the moment, you scared as fuck, especially for a woman. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes that, that's, that's one of our natural instincts to just go hide somewhere. Like, that's just human nature for real. But if that shit, and I hope it don't never happen to any of y'all out there, bruh. You need to try to get out of that house before they actually get in. Or as soon as they get in the house, you get out. You know what I'm saying? Let's see how this went in. Please hurry up. Do you have any weapons? No. Are they still inside? Yes, they're like roving. I don't care if they're doing it. I'm sorry. They're what? They're stealing. I think they're confusing the customer. Stay on the line. Let me have a dispatcher. Do not hang up. Stay on the line. I'm here. Okay. Do you know what they were wearing? Are you trying to be quiet or something? What? Do you know what they were wearing? I, I, okay. Okay. I didn't see the other one. One of them is wearing a white, a, a black t-shirt. A white or a black t-shirt? Black t-shirt. Do you know them? No. Have you ever seen them before? No. 
Okay. Okay. They tried to call me in my room. Shh. Okay. Shh. They tried to call me in my room. Okay. Shh. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. <sighs> Oh, they left. They left on foot? What kind of car are they in? Do you see? Are they gone? No, they're in the in my driveway. Okay. What kind of car are they in? In the Toyota. Kelly. What color? What? Oh, are they... Are they backing out? Are they leaving? Yeah, they left. Two burglars entered a Florida home Ooh. while the teen hid in an upstairs closet and dialed 911. The burglars left and later crashed when they ran through a red light. Some dispatchers deserve all... Woo! That's another feel-good story, though, right? It, it, man, it took you on a roller coaster because you don't know what's going to happen at the end when they do find the person. But see, D2 story right there... I feel like the intruders, the people who were breaking into the houses, they didn't know nobody else was there. So they just got scared. When they found out somebody else was there, they just got scared and took off. But that shit don't happen all the time. Sometimes these motherfuckers break into these houses, you can be hide, and they find your ass, and they feel like, hey, I got to kill you. Like, I can't leave no witnesses. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they got a gun. So... Like I said, y'all, if you ain't got a way to protect yourself, just try to get the fuck out of that house before they even get it in there. It's, when you know when you know they coming, you know what I'm saying? When you hear them beating down your back door, fuck it, get out. Let's go. All the praise in the world for how they handle the cause. This is one of them. We want you to and fire. What's your emergency? Oh, she's having the baby. Hello? 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 AMS, this is Kyle. She's having the baby. He said the hand's coming up. Okay, I need somebody to talk to me. Okay, okay, I'm talking. Come over to the phone. I can barely hear you, man. You have to take me on speakerphone. Okay, I'm sorry. My it's okay. That's okay. I understand, but I got to get an address. I have my daughter in my head. What's your address? Okay. All right, listen, I'm going to ask you a couple real quick questions, okay? How, how old is your wife? She's 25. 25? Okay, is she awake right now? Is she breathing? She's breathing, yeah. All right, is the baby breathing? Yeah. If the baby is breathing? Okay, how's the mother? Is the mother breathing? She's fine. Okay. All right, hold on the line. Do not hang up, all right? I'm going to tell you exactly what to do in just a second. Just stay on the line with me, okay? Time out real quick, y'all. When I first started watching this, uh, when I was thinking, like, she was in labor. She done had the damn baby. Man, you talking about would be the most frightening shit I ever went through in my life, bro. If I'm that dude, if I'm that daddy, oh my God. Let's hear this one out. How many months pregnant was she? <laughs> How many months pregnant was she? Is it a full term baby? Eight months. Eight months, so it is full term. Okay, listen. The baby is breathing, correct? Yes. Okay, I want you to gently wipe off the baby's mouth and its nose. Dry the baby off with a clean towel, and then I want you to wrap the baby in a clean, dry towel. Okay? Do you got one of those? Yeah. All right. Cover the baby's head, but not its face. Okay. Okay? Without pulling the cord tight, put the baby in the mother's arms or on her belly. All right? Be sure the cord is not wrapped around the baby's neck. Yes, sir. All right? Be sure to keep the baby and the, and the mother uh, warm, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, you got that? You got the towel? I'm grabbing it now. Okay, good. You're doing good. You're doing a good job.
Okay, sir. You still there? How long ago did the baby come out? Just now? Yeah. Okay. Is it a boy or a girl, sir? It's a girl. Congratulations. Thank you. You got it wrapped up in the towel, sir? Okay, just don't cover her face up, all right? Put it over her head, but not over her face. And I want you to put the baby back in back in mom's arms, okay? All right? You got to keep her warm, too. Give her a, a blanket or anything to cover up her legs and stuff, okay? Okay. All right, listen carefully, and I'm going to tell you what to do next, all right? Without pulling on the cord, okay, do you get, can you get like a piece of string, a, a shoelace, anything? Okay, I, I want you to tie a string tightly around the umbilical cord, about six inches from the baby. Okay, I don't want you to cut it though. Okay. Hello. Yes. Okay. Ma'am, are you there too? Yeah, I'm using some headphones now. Using some headphones now. Okay. Okay. Six, six inches from the baby, but I don't want you to cut it. Tell me when you got it tied. The paramedics and the fire department are both on their way. They're almost there, okay? Okay. Uh, you got it tied? You got it tied? Uh, no. No, I'm not. Tie it tight. Tie it tight. Six inches off the baby. Tie it tight, but don't cut it. All right, now, I don't want you to pull on the cord, okay? The afterbirth is going to deliver soon, all right? Tell me if anything changes, all right? The afterbirth isn't out yet, is it? I don't know what that is, sir. Uh, you would know it if you saw it. Has anything else come out of her besides the baby? No, just the baby. Okay, it's just the baby? Okay, so the afterbirth isn't out yet, okay? But it, it's, it's important for you to watch the baby and the mother. Make sure they're both all right, okay? I want you to use a blanket to keep the mother warm. If anything changes, I need you to tell me immediately, okay? Okay, I will. I'm good. Okay, do they need to get buzzed into your building? Yeah, they're on the way. I'm here Yeah, do they, have to, do they have to get buzzed in? Is there a certain number or anything they have to dial? Yeah, they have to uh, hit. Okay. All right, you're doing a good job, okay? Just take a deep, take a deep breath for me. You're doing a good job, man. You really are. Great job. I got I got your time of birth in here, okay? So they have it recorded. Okay? 6.37 a.m. Get yourself a Christmas baby. Oh, <laughs> She's moving, she's uh, moving. Good, good. Just keep her keep her with the mother, okay? And make sure you keep her warm as well. You okay, baby? You okay? Say, you okay? You cold? You okay? Okay. Okay. The paramedics are there. They're going to be coming up there shortly, okay? Has the afterbirth come out yet? Uh, no. No? Okay. Hold on, time out, y'all. Time to freak out. I've been thinking in the back of my head, and it's kind of irrelevant to what's going on, which is crazy, but it is kind of relevant at the same time. I, I was thinking, like, damn, that dude look a lot like a Mon Sharper. Like, I ain't going to say most of y'all, but Mon Sharper is a retired NBA player who used to play, most notably, with LeBron James. And now I'm saying, look at the background right here, a Nickelodeon and shit. I think this dude is a mud shopper. Hold on, he, hell no. I gotta be tripping, y'all. Let's go. How you doing? You're doing okay? Okay. 
take it take a deep breath for me. It's okay, all right. You did a really good job with a with a really scary situation. Yeah. Fire department's pulling up right now too, okay? Former New York Knicks player Iman Shumpert took on delivery. I was thinking, man, it was in the back of my head, but I'm like, damn. After I seen that Nickelodeon shit, I'm like, hold on, I think this really is him. I ain't never heard of this story about this dude, man. Wow. Room duties on December 16th, 2015, when his fiance went into labor in the couple's bathroom in Cleveland. Schumpert's fiance, recording artist Tiana Taylor, posted a photo of the couple's daughter on social media after it happened, along with an explanation. She wrote, It took two 10 count pushes with my fiance playing doctor, and she entered this world into his bare hands. Eyes full of tears and barely able to speak to the emergency operator. Ed Iman Schumpert tied a pair of red headphones around the umbilical cord and the ambulance made their grand entrance five minutes later. She opened her eyes right away, gazed into mine, and never cried. He handed her to me wrapped in our bath towel and wiped her face for me to see what love really is. Taylor wrote that the baby's birth was a surprise, as she didn't know she was in labor until she felt the baby's head. Healthy little Junie was born at 6.42 a.m. in their bathroom. For more true 911 calls, watch this. Wow, y'all. She said she didn't know she was in labor until she actually felt the head coming out. Popping out. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me try to stop trying to be funny. No, man, but I'm trying to be funny for real, too, y'all, because we ended on a good note, man, with a feel good story, y'all. Like, because them first ones was pissing me the fuck off. They were sad, too, with people dying and shit from them. But they were just, it's just the way them dispatchers were handling this shit was really, really, really pissed me off with them. But I'm still tripping off. I was like, bro, this whole time, I'm like, is that Iman Shopper? But I ain't never really say that though. I ain't, cause I, I, like I said, man, I ain't, you know, I ain't never heard. And I be watching him sometime on YouTube when he be doing different podcasts with other NBA players. You know, I hear, I done heard a lot of stories in the NBA, but I never heard this one, bro. This happened back in 2015 when he was playing with LeBron. Crazy, 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 my people. I'm glad we came back to this channel. We got to start coming back more often. Like, seriously. Our, our playlist of channels getting up there. But, hey, man, we just going to have to just manage and try to do what we can do. I digress, my people. Thank y'all for coming back, as always. I ain't tell y'all to get another video of that. I appreciate y'all, as always, man. Hope y'all day going good out there, as always. You remember when I said I was tired earlier? As soon as I started watching this video with y'all, like I'm amped up now. I can do a little something. Shit. But, gonna let y'all get up out of here, man. Just make sure y'all hit that like button before y'all get up out of here. Hey, if you're new here, then go on subscribe to Stack the Bean channel too. Because it ain't my channel, it's our channel. And until I see y'all again, my friends, I got a couple more things to say. Love, peace, and happiness. Stay safe. Don't stop. Keep going. Yeah.